Hello and welcome, good people of the internet. I am here today to show you how to use Auto IK in Blender. So, I'm making this video because a user on Reddit um, was asking how I created animations for my game. And um, what I mostly do is create my own animations using Blender um, with a humanoid rig I've created. And instead of creating a bunch of like IK solvers and stuff using um, bone constraints and whatnot, I basically just stick with auto IK. It's simple enough. Um, usually does what I needed to do. So today I'm just going to show you a quick example of how I might set up um, a run animation using the auto IK feature in Blender. And uh, hopefully this will help um, some of you out there to create your own anima animations. So here we go. First I'm going to open up the action editor where I can create individual animations. And so the first thing I'll do is create my first animation. We will call it Humanoid run. And for the first keyframe, I like to set mine to zero. And um, at the end, we'll set the last frame to 59, but for now, we'll just do 60. Now that auto is IK is on, we can just grab the bones like so. If you didn't have auto IK on, we would be using what's called forward in inverse kinematic or forward kinematics. And so when using forward uh, kinematics, you can only really rotate bones individually. You can't just grab like the heel bone and move the whole leg like you would auto IK. So with auto IK enabled, we can just put our legs in position, our body parts in position, as if we were already running. Another quick tip here is to copy um, a pose from one side to the other of the body. You select the bones you want to grab. Um, I'm using just the box select. And you copy it to the clipboard here in the bottom right. And then to switch it over, you hit the uh, paste um, button inverted, I guess. So that just swings it over to the other side.
this is a pretty pretty quick and dirty method. Um, I'm not really taking my time here. So that looks decent for one frame. Um, another quick tip, um, if you tried to move the whole mesh right now, just using G, it would probably get all ugly, like so. Um, but if you just turn off Auto IK, you can move the whole thing without it getting crazy. So, he's a little high off the ground right now. Well, maybe slightly high off the ground. And so for the type of keyframes we're going to set, we're going to set the location or rotation. So we'll go uh, block rot. And this is on keyframe zero, so we'll go ahead and put in a keyframe. And here's the tricky part. So we take this um, collection of frames, basically positions and rotations of the bones come over halfway through the run, or we'll come to the end, just create another um, frame real quick. And then in the middle, we're at 30, we will flip it, and put a frame there. So now we have a little bit of a run. It's not done yet, so everyone relax. Okay, so that's the start. Now halfway between this position and this position, we want to go to on the ground. So this foot will be on the ground. His left foot will be on the ground. And we're definitely going to be lower. So we'll go to frame 15 here. Turn this off, bring him down, and turn auto IK back on. And basically plant this foot on the ground now. And the opposite foot I'm going to bring back up. Copy that, bring it over to frame 45 or uh, 45, paste it on the other side. And now we should have a run ish. Oops. So that's a pretty quick and easy run. You could go in and tweak things here and there, like his toes kind of going through the ground a little bit right there. That's not terrible, but really, if you were anal about it, you might bring this up like so. Let's put that right there. What is this? We're on frame 19, so. Frame 49, we basically do the same thing. Make sure it's over here. Flip. Grab that.
want to hide. If we want to make it go a little faster, we can scale this 0.5. Uh, make the end frame 29. Oops. Now we basically have a run animation that we can just go ahead and bring into Unity or whatever game engine we're using. Oop. So there's your run animation using Auto IK. Um, pretty simple to use. You don't have to you know, create these really elaborate rigs if you're just trying to do something quick and simple. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.